SpaceX has made several mind-blowing upgrades to the Starship, which will increase the versatility and security of the craft. The Starship is expected to transport crew and supplies to Mars in the coming decade. In today's video, let's take a closer look at these amazing upgrades and how they'll benefit the craft. Is the Starship finally ready for its orbital test flight? Starship and Super Heavy are the biggest, most important pieces of Elon Musk's grand plan for SpaceX. The company is developing a 100-passenger spaceship called Starship and a giant rocket known as Super Heavy, which together constitute the transportation system that Musk thinks will bring Mars settlement within reach at long last. With the development of the Starship, SpaceX has opened a new world of possibilities for space travel. With its powerful engines, efficient fuel system, and revolutionary landing system, the Starship is set to revolutionize the way we explore the final frontier. Whether it's a mission to the moon, Mars, or beyond, the Starship is ready to take us there. SpaceX has made a significant upgrade to the Starship boosters in the latest iteration of the craft. Once optimized, SpaceX says a Starship can launch up to 150 tons to low Earth orbit while still recovering the orbital ship and suborbital booster for reuse. CEO Elon Musk has stated that Starship reuse will eventually take hours, enabling multiple flights per day for each ship and booster, and dropping the marginal cost of each launch to just a few million dollars. In comparison, SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket uses simpler Merlin 1D engines, has just 10 of those engines to Starship's 39 Raptors, produces about 10 times less thrust at liftoff, and can launch about 11% as much payload to orbit while expanding its upper stage. Even then, Musk reported in mid-2020 that the marginal cost of a Falcon 9 launch was $15 million, impressively low but still a vivid demonstration of just how far Starship has to go. Simply ensuring that Starship can reach orbit at all is a major challenge. Successfully recovering Starship and Super Heavy after the fact may be an even bigger challenge and cannot be fully demonstrated until the rocket can consistently reach orbit. SpaceX won't be able to reuse Starship until it can consistently recover ships and boosters from orbital launches, and there's no guarantee that early prototypes will be reusable even if they're recovered. Until reusability is demonstrated, every Starship upper stage will be functionally expendable whether or not Elon Musk wants it to be. Musk likely means that SpaceX may or may not decide to develop a Starship upper stage custom-built for expendable missions. Such a stage would likely take Starship, remove everything extraneous, and reduce its mass as much as possible. Musk has proposed something similar before, noting that SpaceX could develop a lightened version of Starship with no heat shield or fins or legs for expendable interplanetary launches. Further to the contrary, SpaceX's Starbase factory is already building multiple intentionally expendable Starships. Ship 26 and Ship 27 feature no thermal protection, have no heat shield tiles, and will not be fitted with flaps, making them impossible to recover or reuse. More likely than not, they'll be used to test other crucial Starship technologies like orbital refilling and cryogenic fluid management. Meanwhile, SpaceX's multi-billion dollar contract to use Starship to return NASA astronauts to the moon revolves around a depot ship variant that will store propellants in orbit and cannot return to Earth. The first few Starship moon landers may also be functionally expendable and only used for one astronaut landing apiece. In short, SpaceX already has extensive plans to build variants of Starship that are either fully expendable or can only be reused in orbit. In early 2023, SpaceX revealed that an expendable version of the rocket will be able to launch up to 250 metric tons to low Earth orbit in a single launch. Saturn V, the next most capable expendable rocket, could launch up to 118 tons to LEO and cost $1 to $2 billion per launch. SpaceX publicly advertising the expendable performance of Starship unsurprisingly confirms that the company is considering all of the capabilities its new launch system will offer. And Starship's expendable capabilities are significant. Constructed piece by piece over dozens of launches, the International Space Station weighs about 420 tons. Two expendable Starships could launch more usable mass to low Earth orbit, truly revolutionary if SpaceX can make Starship launches frequent and routine. Apart from upgrades to the booster, SpaceX has also made massive improvements to the Starship's engines. 
The company makes regular upgrades to the engine to improve its efficiency and reusability. In recent months, SpaceX has used two variants of the engine, with the newer one dubbed Raptor 2. The company states that Raptor 2 includes a large number of performance and reliability improvements over the previous iteration. The Raptor engine is a full-flow stage combustion cycle engine that runs on super-chilled liquid oxygen and super-chilled liquid methane, both of which will power SpaceX's next-generation vehicle, Starship. The Raptor engine benefits from the highly advantageous FFSCC cycle, maximizing the impulse generated by a given amount of propellant. It is the third FFSCC engine to ever be developed and the first to leave the test stand. The first stage of Starship, called Super Heavy, will be jam-packed with 33 Raptor engines. 20 non-gimbling Raptor engines in the outermost ring, 10 gimbling engines in the middle ring, and 3 gimbling central engines in the innermost ring. This number is expected to decrease in the future as SpaceX further upgrades Raptor. The Starship currently hosts 6 total engines, 3 vacuum-optimized non-gimbling engines, and 3 sea-level gimbling engines. As research and development continue on the Starship, the latest news from SpaceX is that a new prototype for the vehicle has successfully undergone a static fire test of its engines ahead of its first planned orbital test flight. SpaceX fired seven engines on its Starship Super Heavy prototype Booster 7, marking the highest number of the company's new Raptor engines ever tested at the same time. To prepare for Starship's maiden orbital flight, SpaceX has been conducting static fire tests with increasing intensity, in which one or more engines are ignited while the vehicle remains stationary on the ground. A static fire test is a rough equivalent of revving a car engine in neutral, with this particular one lasting around 10 seconds. SpaceX is still awaiting a launch license from the FAA for the first orbital test flight of Starship. The Starship could launch on its first ever orbital test flight a little over a month from now if all goes goes according to plan. SpaceX is now tentatively eyeing mid to late April for that epic mission, which will lift off from the company's Starbase facility in South Texas. Starship has flown before, but only on short hops that reached a maximum of six miles or so above Earth. And those vehicles were upper stage prototypes sporting three or fewer Raptors. No super heavy variant has ever left the ground. That will change on the coming orbital try, which SpaceX has been working toward for a long time now. The most recent Starship test flight occurred nearly two years ago in May 2021. The tentative target date has shifted to the right repeatedly during this stretch, which isn't surprising given that Starship is an entirely new vehicle, and one that's very different from SpaceX's currently operational rockets, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Both Falcons, for example, employ Merlin engines rather than Raptors. Musk said recently that Starship has about a 50% chance of success on its debut orbital flight whenever that liftoff occurs. But he also stressed that SpaceX is assembling multiple Starship vehicles at Starbase at the moment, and one of them is bound to succeed. SpaceX continues to look for more ways to make the Starship even more powerful in the future. Recently, the company announced it may have discovered a new method of rocket propulsion. SpaceX says it has created a thruster system that defies physics and has successfully tested it. The rocket propulsion system uses electrically charged gas and can achieve speeds up to 65 kilometers per second or about 135,000 miles per hour. The engine's made from super lightweight carbon fiber fuel tanks with cold gas thrusters. It doesn't use any type of propellant, meaning it does not expel any byproducts into space. Instead, the engine produces thrust by accelerating superheated plasma with magnetic magnetic fields, which also means no fumes are being expelled from combustion. These types of engines are known as electric thrusters, but they work very differently from those used in SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. These thrusters create thrust by propelling pressurized gas, whereas electric ones produce a charged plasma that emits ions to push a craft forward. The electric engine developed by SpaceX is reportedly more powerful than conventional gridded ion thrusters and could power manned missions to Mars and beyond. It could also cut down on travel time for spacebound cargo because it requires less propellant, which can be expensive to launch into orbit. The technology is still being tested and further development is needed before it will be ready for spaceflight. It has been submitted for peer review and NASA experts think it has potential, at least on paper. 
Some say it's impossible to travel at high speeds through space, but that hasn't stopped Elon Musk from claiming he can do it. His idea is to create a light speed engine that will take us to Mars in just 70 days. Such an engine defies physics and would mean traveling faster than 186,000 miles per second. There are a few ways that we could travel at light speed, but first, we need to understand how light works. As it travels through space, every atom in its path interacts with it. This slows it down and even stops it completely if there's no matter around to pass through. Because of these interactions, light has a maximum velocity of 186,000 miles per second, meaning that's as fast as it can go through space. Since nothing can travel faster than light without breaking the rules of physics, if we want to catch up with a distant star in our lifetime, we have to find another way to get there besides traveling directly toward it. While space tourism is expected to be a big part of the Starship's future, the craft is needed for several groundbreaking scientific missions. After a successful splashdown of the Orion spacecraft in the Pacific Ocean, NASA Administrator and former Senator Bill Nelson shared that his agency plans to go to Mars by the end of 2030. Senator Nelson struck an upbeat tone after NASA had a great Artemis I mission, and the remarks were made during a post-splashdown press conference in which he also shared details for SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. The event was attended by several agency officials, including Michael Serafin, NASA's Artemis I mission manager, who shared his final thoughts on Orion's performance as it entered the Earth at breakneck speeds for a successful landing. Throughout its journey to the moon and back, Orion performed better than NASA engineers had initially expected. The spacecraft's power generation, done through solar panels, generated more power than expected. As part of the mission, NASA added additional test objectives to stress the vehicle and learn more about its performance for future missions. The next Artemis mission will involve a crew, and not only will NASA use the data for the next mission, but it will also make changes to the ship. Administrator Nelson also shared crucial details about SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. This is currently the only vehicle that has been chosen by NASA to land humans on the moon as part of the Artemis program. He announced that SpaceX plans to do an uncrewed landing in 2023 and then to do the crewed landing in late 2024. While delays are possible due to the Starship being a brand new concept, all signs point towards the craft being ready in time. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about a Pentagon report about an alien mothership that could be launching probes to Earth. Do you think the Starship needs more upgrades? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.